And good morning to you, lovelies. And it is a pleasure once again to be in your ear listening presence. I am so grateful to have this opportunity to talk to you. And I wanted to talk about um, Matthew 5 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. And my question, and I thought Miss G was going to be with me and she may step in, so. Um, but I'm going to keep on keeping on. So blessed are the peacemakers. And so my question is, why is, why is it necessary to have peacemakers or to be peacemakers? You know, because um, to me, to me, it just makes me more um, at peace. OK, because I hate to have a lot of stuff on my mind, a lot of unnecessary things um, on my mind, you know, um, in and out of stuff that you shouldn't even be in and out of, you know, people being, um, you know, not good stewards of your time and just trying to dig and cause you to come out of your, your happy place, out, out of your box. And at some point we had to say, you know what, uh -uh, I need to get to the bottom of this. I need to know, um, what's going on so that I can be at peace. And, and if it's um, something involving someone else, you can, you know, call that person and, and, and know what, what's actually happened. I always say, you know, I want to hear from the horse's mouth. If the horse says something, I want to hear him uh, or her um, say it to me themselves. And I want to let be able to give my interpretation of how I feel about the situation. I just don't believe in, um, third party information, you know, and, um, that's, that's why I want to talk about, um, the peacemakers, you know, because peacemaking implies that there's possibly, you know, a threat or some kind of, um, disturbance that is about to happen. So we want to make sure that when we are interacting with each other, we're interacting in a peaceful manner. You know, a lot of times we just, start that gossip. See, I, 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 I am not a gossiper. I hate gossiping. I can't, I can't deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Because you take, what is there, a dog who brings the bones, carries the bones. 
and you take that gossiping and what somebody tell you, by the time it get back to the person that it initially started with, it's so much hoopla and so much stuff added to it that it doesn't even make sense. You don't even know what you said because so much stuff has been piled on onto you. And so to eliminate all of that stuff, I think it's best that we just start peaceful conversation, peaceful dialogues, and, and all the parties that's, that are involved, we need to just talk to them. You know, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Don't believe everything you hear. Don't take all that stuff in. If something doesn't sound like it should be, uh, like it's appropriate, it's time to call up somebody. It's time to get to the bottom of it and squat it in advance. I really do believe in handling situations before they get out of hand. And that's when I look at this scripture, blessed are the peacemakers, for they should be called a child of God. You know, God doesn't want us to be um, into any type of confusion because he's not a God of confusion. And so it, some traits, you know, to being a peacemaker, basically just being morally um, pure, you know, what, what, what would God want us to do? What kind of life should we be living as Christians? What kind of moral demonstration should we be showing to others? You understand? So it's like our morals and our values is what, um, demonstrates, um, how we go about certain situations, certain conversations, certain actions, you know, things that we say out our mouth, we have to have more values. And when you have more values, good more values, you're not out there trying to go back and forth with people fussing and fighting and all that stuff and, and what was said today. We're not trying to do all of that. We want to be uh, peaceful. That, that's another trait of being a peacemaker. We want to be peaceful. We want, don't want to get out here and telling people what's on our minds because, you know, we good for that, especially if y'all from, from Portsmouth. Now, I ain't trying to uh, categorize Portsmouth or stereotype Portsmouth, but I am a P-Town girl, and we get down with telling folks what's on our minds, you know, and so... <laughs> But we don't need to do that. We just need to be peaceful. We need to, you know, discuss certain things and find out um, the the different aspects of the individuals involved, the parties involved, and keep on moving. Um, open to reason, you know. Why were certain things brought up? Why were certain things said? Why do I feel like I feel? You know, we're going back and forth having a dialogue, which will lead to some kind of consensus. And hopefully everything will be squashed or resolved, right? And so that's what we want to do. We want to open, be open to reason. We want to have some reasonable conversation here. We want to be impartial. We want to be sincere. You know, don't call me acting like you want to handle the situation and you really don't. You really want to, as I say, tell me a piece of your mind. You really want to go off on me. You really want me to say something to get you pumped up. You know, no, we don't want to do that. We want to be sincere when we approach this um, this, in, this thing, you know, trying to be peacemakers. We want to know that when we're going forth, we are going forth with every intention of being sincere and making peace. Because see, sometimes when you're trying to make peace in a situation, it sometimes it doesn't work. But at least you know you try. Sometimes you got to say, you know what? I got to walk away from this because the peacemaking part is not working because the other individual may not be open to being reasonable, you know, may not have the same mores as you have. So sometimes we have to walk away and that is still being a peacemaker because you're not igniting the situation. But sometimes we can ignite the situation. We say we want to be a peacemaker, but we suddenly throwing shade and, and, and throwing jabs and stuff, you know, and saying little smart stuff. No, that's not being a peacemaker. Okay, you getting the party started. That's what we're doing when we do that. So we want to make sure that we're sincerely trying to make peace in a situation. Uh, we have to be willing to go the extra mile. You know, we sometimes we got to talk like Jesus talked. 
Y'all know that song. I want to talk, talk like Jesus talk. Yeah, we got to go in and talk like as he would talk. You know, we got to be soft. We can't go in and start barking at folks. You know, sometimes we have to remember that this person is dealing with some things and it's not even about us, you know, it's about what they're dealing with. And then we got to continue to read God's word. We got to grow from um, his gospel and we have to use that. You know what I'm saying? We have to remember that it's not about us. It's about what we are being taught as Christians. So when somebody come up to you at work and whatnot, and they, you know, they coming at you do sideways. That's what I say, sideways. Don't go off. Don't go off. I heard um, Reverend Gould say on MLK Day, she said, we got to stop at the crosswalk, the crossroads. We stop at the crossroads. And when we stop at the crossroads, we take that time to just basically gather our thoughts think about which way we need to go. So when we come against these people that um, want to cause us some, some issues and bring their stressful situations onto us, let's remember, let's stop at the crossroads. Let's start thinking before we speak, you know, because we all can get out of two. We all can get down with the get down. I know we can, but that's not how you represent Christianity. That's not how you represent love for one another. We need to stop at the crossword, like Reverend Gould said, and, and pay attention to what we want to do. Start making a decision. Run at that crossword. But that's what I, I love the, the um scenario. I'm going to stop at the crossword and I'm going to say, now, is this worth me opening my mouth? Or what should I say? And how kind can I say it? You know, and, and that's what we need to start doing with each other. Stop trying to induce or ignite arguments we need to be peacemakers because at the end of the day when you can go home and lay your head down and know that you did everything that you could do to to um resolve any problems any situations that may be um negative it's a good feeling and I don't like to lose sleep I love to sleep I love to eat and I don't like to lose any of it so I like to go home knowing that I tried. I put forth an effort and see anything that the other person is feeling, that's the one them. That has nothing to do with me because I did what God required me to do. I I, I was growing with the gospel. I, I what, what I was taught by the word of God, I used today. I used on today. I love today. I spoke softly today. Kind words I used today. And, 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 and that's what I like to do. And then sometimes, you know, it takes me, I, I, you know, I'm transparent now. It takes me a couple of days to get there. I may have to wait till I see you the next time. But let, believe me, when I see you the next time, I'm going to be kind to you. You're going to know that I meant nothing by it um, if I offended you because I do not want to go down in history as being the person that people can't talk to. Good morning, baby. It being the person that people can't talk to. I want to be approachable. I want you to know that I'm listening to you. I'm hearing you. Even though I go through my own things, I know that for you to come to me, for you to humble yourself to come to me, I need to show you enough love to sit there and listen to what you have to say. And that's what we, how we need to treat each other. And we need to make sure that we speak to each other with kindness. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. And, and remember now, because when people look at you, if you're acting like just any blow, Joe Blow, you have to like any you know person off the street why would they come to christ why would they want to trade their life or where they live in now for your life when you acting like you some kind of hood rather you know what i'm saying and not trying to call anybody names but are we acting like we back on the block how is that gonna um represent Christ? How, you know, make people think that, oh, well, I need to, you know, serve the Lord. No, they're going to be like, well, I can continue to do what I'm doing. She out here cussing and, and fussing and fighting. And she talking about she's some kind of preacher. 
no, I'm fine. I'll do what I'm doing already. I, I Actually, I act better than she does. And see, that's what we don't want to represent when we represent in Christ. We want to represent good and, and nice and peace, right? So just remember that. And I want you to also remember that I will be running for the Portsmouth Public School Board. So if you're in Portsmouth, I want you to just continue to follow me and look at my um, platform and just prepare yourself to vote for me. All right. God loves you. I love you. Make sure you love yourself and go on and love someone else. I was hoping Miss G could join us today in this conversation because I know she would have had some good stuff on this uh, peacemaker um, issue because or subject because she loved to remind me that I am a preacher. And it works, you know, because I, like I said, I'm not perfect. But I strive to be perfect in him. And I ask y'all to do the same thing. So let's remember, we're going to be peacemakers. We're going to be trendsetters. We're going to be uh, mentors. We're going to set examples. All right. Until next week, God bless you. broadcast of the Love Spot Radio Broadcast with your radio minister, Minister Love. Make sure you stay tuned once again on next to Saturday morning at the 11 o'clock a.m. hour for the same. You're in tune to 1400 a.m. All right, y'all. Um, how y'all doing? I, I, I like to be obedient. I don't get a lot of time on the radio. So when it's time for me to get off, I get off. I don't um try to steal any airtime. I take what I take, I take what I have, what I you know, what I've been assigned and I keep it moving. So um but we have to remember to continue to be peacemakers we have to remember to stop we getting too old to be getting going back and forth with people you know what i'm saying y'all know that song by snoop i'm living my best life that's what we need to be doing living our best life we don't need to be going back and forth arguing fussing and fighting and stuff like that time out for that i did all that good fashion when i was young but now that I'm older, I I I'm have to get away from young things and stuff I did, foolish things I did when I was younger. All that fuss and that fight don't lead to a hill of beans, you know. And and the way our 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 brothers and sisters are out here being slaughtered, who would want to be out there fussing and fighting? Because we we have no uh, respect of life. I mean, think about it. The way we can just kill each other, you can just kill somebody look like me you know and your mama your sister your brother you we just killing each other and so i mean what why do you want to be out there fussing why why are we gonna fuss because we we don't value life and that's a problem but when we start um trying to be peacemakers when we start trying to be kind and when we start showing each other love then maybe we can get that that value back for our lives. So I just pray for our people. I pray that God will um, heal our land. I, I pray that we will turn to him um, as a whole and he will come and, and heal us. God bless you. Um, and I will talk to you a little bit later on during the week. Y'all take care.